Hi everyone. I just want to give you an update on my winter project, which is a sump pump. I mean a sump for the 90 gallon aquarium. So this is a 90 gallon aquarium. Uh, it had a you know hang on the back filter and it's got a canister filter. So I wanted to try the sump system for quite a few years. So I watched videos on YouTube, you are Joey, as well as many other videos. And this is the system I came up with. So below the tank, I've got a 20 gallon, 20 gallon tank that I had extra that's acting as my sump. I have a Sen, uh, I think it's 300 or 600 water pump. Um, I use, those are two heaters that seem to be working great. Uh, I have a bucket full of medium and the input to the bucket is here so the water flows from the tank you can see the flow is pretty good uh, I come down here I have a nylon on it for kind of a pre-filter catches some of the plant material things and then in the here I just have some clay clay uh, you see them in hydroponics balls and then I have a Hamburg Matten filter system uh, separating the tanks so that's all I have so I, I did no uh, no reconstruction of the tank I'm just using the five gallon buckets so I saw the bottom off of one and I had the other one full of medium I have some PVC pipes holding the, the tray up uh, this is my electrical setup uh, this is my 305 fluval that I'm you know someday will replace Right now it's it's adding to the flow uh, and this is under the tank. So above the tank what we have is the DIY overflow and I have the check valve that goes to an aqualifter pump. They said, one of the videos said to do this for peace of mind. Basically it will pump any air so that siphon will never break. Uh, it'll be completely uh, flowing of water uh, if any air gets in there it'll never break so if the, the thing shuts off uh, I put a piece of sponge around the intake that seems to help with some of the plant material um, so and then on this end I don't know if you can see it but the input has a valve Right around, uh, anyway, the input comes up here. It's a <clears throat> half inch PVC feed from a one inch PVC drain. And that sponge filter there is the input for the fluval. So that's my DIY project for this year. And it seems to be running and functioning well. Thank you very much.